Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's time once again for another episode of SLMA Radio. If it has to do with sales lead management or sales lead marketing, it probably starts here with the SLMA Radio Show. And today, well, we've got a rotating series of guest hosts that uh, handled the duties on this show. But today, we're back with the man who's always thinking... Always thinking of new ways, new ideas, and uh, new ways to present them. The man who started it all, Jim Obermeyer, with his thinking cap on. Hello, Paul. Thank <laughs> you very much for the introduction. Yes, I've got my thinking hat on today. It says thinking across the top of it here. It's the most yeah, clever I, thing. I try to surprise Paul each week because uh, uh, this may be a radio program podcast, but Paul and I can see each other pretty much. Right. Our great studio in Southern California, and I am in the far northwest. Paul is my sidekick for the past 10 years on SLMA Radio, and we've got a great program today. We've got Nicholas Vandenberg on, CEO of Chili Piper. The program title is Speed to Lead, 10 Surprising Facts About Lead Response Time. And the subtitle is, and what they teach us about the rapid response conversion. Now, Nicholas is a really bright guy. We are really privileged to have him on today. He has co-founded four startups, presently the CEO of the SaaS firm, Chili Piper. Its mission is to reinvent the system of action of sales professionals to provide them with new levels of productivity and job satisfaction. The firm is reinventing scheduling, calendaring, inbox, and the main apps used by revenue teams. Nicholas, welcome to the program today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is our privilege, believe me. It's great to have a guy on that's going to be able to guide us through this speed-to-leave conundrum that people have been talking about for a long time. From the time somebody puts a lead into the Internet, from the time they click that button, say that they want to hear from someone, if you don't respond in 30 seconds or less, you're dead mate. So you're here to take me through it and give me some 10 surprising facts about lead response time. The microphone's yours, Nicholas. All right, awesome, thank you. Thanks, and thanks for the nice introduction, yes. I'll start with the fun anecdotes in the speed to lead. I was trying to buy um, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and LinkedIn told me uh, online there was a page that said you have to contact the salesperson. So I filled the form and I submitted, and uh, it was 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, and nobody ever called me. And a week later, I got in touch with them, and I said, uh, listen, um, I really want to buy it. Uh, I was motivated, and nobody called me. And he said, are you sure? Nobody called you. <laughs> and I looked at my phone, I looked at my phone, and there was a, a call the next morning with a 408 uh, area code number. But uh, my phone is set so that uh, these numbers go straight to voicemail, and I didn't recognize the, the number, so I said, I'm not even going to look at it. Um, and just because I was very motivated, uh, LinkedIn did get my business, because otherwise they would have lost a, a, a customer. So that's something um, that is a very common experience. The way at Chili Piper we came across that problem was a bit um, by accident, you could say. Uh, we first started building software for our sales development reps. So we were trying to help them book meetings. As you mentioned, it's one of our core focus to, uh, to automate everything around the scheduling. And so we help uh, these SDRs, as they know, in sales development reps. And I was talking to a particular rep in the company. I said, so what is your job? And he said, I'm an inbound SDR. I said, what does an inbound SDR do? And he said, well, you see these forms on the website. So when somebody wants a meeting, they submit the form, and it's my job. I'm specialized in calling this person to book that meeting. All right, and how is that going for you? And he said, it's going fantastic. I'm uh, converting at 40%. So that light bulb went up, and I'm thinking, converting at 40% means that 60 people who ask for a meeting actually did not get a meeting, even though they asked for it on your website. So that was puzzling. Um, that was puzzling. Why, why would somebody think it's a good thing that they convert at 30 percent? And then I understood this phenomenon of human being that um, is around the reference points. So the reason why uh, he thought it was a great number is because his teammates across the hall is a non-bound SDR, and a non-bound SDR converts at two to three percent. Right? They make a lot of calls, and out of all these calls, they may get uh, two to three percent of meetings. 
So that's the reference point that the sales team have, right? That uh, they're doing really well on the easy bound, not so well on the dark bound. But if you look at it, especially from a demand gen uh, responsibility, and you think I've spent all these uh, money, all these dollars in bringing these leads, and 60% of them fall through the cracks, then you have a different reference point and a different perspective on it. So that's what we saw the Chili Piper. I'll explain uh, in a minute uh, what our solution does and how it works. But that, that was my first exposure to the uh, problem around the speed to lead. And when that happened, I started calling around other companies and uh, saying, hey, is that the same with you? And uh, some companies were converting at 21%. So it is British uh, B2 SMB company converting at 21%, meaning they were losing 80% of their leads. And for some reason, there was this natural ceiling around 40%. That seems to be, for some reason, where the market settled, that, that, that was the best thing. I even had a, the chief revenue officer of, a, of the sales tech company tell me, uh, I don't even want to touch my inbound. I'm covering at 40%. This is uh, awesome. I don't want to touch it. So that's when we started all this research on uh, what is causing it, what data is supporting the idea that um, it can be done better. And we listed on the blog post all these data around the speed to lead and, and, and what you can expect based on, on your ability to shoot on speed to lead. It's interesting to me how you got into the program. And I find it especially interesting when you realize that the person says, well, I'm doing really good. I got 40% conversion. If those leads really came in and said, I want to schedule a meeting, I would expect that 80 or 85% would convert at the very minimum. And yet 40% did. So it was very, very surprising, and I can see how you started this. That was also my expectation. I expected that companies converted 85%. I could imagine that here and there you lose somebody, but not 60% of the pipeline. So that, that was a shock, and it turned out to be, uh, I think, the best kept secret of, uh, of the industry, <laughs> that people lose more than half their pipeline inbound and, and just have accepted that as a fact of life. So that's what we're trying to change at Chili Piper. So we uh, built a solution. Uh, it, the simple thing, when the form is submitted, in real time, we take the data from the form and we qualify the prospect. Because, of course, that's a very important thing you don't want to engage with non-qualified prospects. So based on the data and possibly data augmentation, we qualify the prospect. Then in real time, we find the rep who should be uh, in charge of that prospect. We dial the rep's number, we dial back the prospect, and we connect them in real time. And if we cannot do that because somebody is not available, then we'll retrieve the calendar of the rep and, and have the prospect the book a time that works for her or him. E either way, it's an instant gratification. You're either on the phone and you've booked a time and you are confirmed. And uh, that seems like a much better experience. And you'd expect that to work better. Well, it turns out that it, it does. And we typically double these conversion rates. So we have multiple success stories of companies going up from that invisible ceiling of 40% to uh, 70, 75, 80% conversion. So much closer to what you would expect around 80% conversion, simply with the help of technology. You take the data from the form, quickly qualify the prospect, find the rep, dial the number, connect in real time. How much time does that take you to do all that? The qualification is done by the computer, so it's data processing, it's a millisecond. So we do fancy things now, we uh, do what's called data augmentation. So we take the email address from the prospect and retrieve from data sources like uh, right. CRV or Zoom, in, Zoom Info, additional information. But that, that, that calls are also uh, less than a second. And then the dialing, we have that in real time instantaneously. It's just a matter of how much time does the rep takes to uh, pick up the phone and press the button. The way they do it is that uh, they press the phone, they saw there's a lead for you. We even give the name of the lead. And when they press one, then we connect. So that typically takes, you know, 10, 11 seconds. But in the meantime, we display, when the prospects submit the form, we display a screen that says uh, we and we actually display the name of the person we're calling we say uh, let's say mike is uh, going to call you and mike is now calling you please pick up the phone the entire 10 to 12 seconds that it takes are um, explained to the prospect and the prospect is what's happening so typically um, and that works beautifully and, and prospect picks up the phone and, and get connected and if they don't then we give them a choice to say it looks like you went at a board too why don't you pick a time for later call that will work for you and the press uh, time and the booked. One of the surprising facts is you found that people had this invisible level of productivity. 
<laughs> of 40%. The second fact is their managers were accepting that as successful, which means opportunity is going away to the tune of 60%. It's sitting out there. And I imagine one of the other facts is within 10 or 11 seconds, that adds tremendously to your ability to connect to the person. I've always had the opinion that the person that wins is the person who responds the fastest and sets the table. And that really seems to be the case for you. What other things That's have you exactly learned right. about this response time? So what we found is that there's a bunch of uh, thresholds on, on the response time. Uh, 30 seconds is ideal, so at 12 seconds you went within... Uh, Within 30 seconds, you're going to get a very high uh, response rate. Then if you wait more than five minutes, so obviously that means you're not using chili pepper, you're doing the old way where somebody is going to be uh, receiving an alert and rush to his or her desk and call. Then the conversion rate with more than five minutes, it drops by 80%. And this is a, a research by a company called Vendasta, so outside of our, our quote. So there are these thresholds that if you uh, wait more than five minutes, it's going to drop by 80%, and then it continues dropping, and then you can drop all the way to uh, to 90%, right? If you call it, if you wait several days, then you're going to go down to 10% of a conversion rate. The um, interesting thing is that you'd expect that by now companies have got it and um, have acted on it, but there's uh, research by the Harvard Business Review that shows that only 37 percent of businesses respond within an hour and granted you remember an hour is not even ideal but only 37 percent of uh, businesses respond within an hour which means that two-thirds of businesses reply in a, in a time frame where they've already lost half their their uh, inbound prospects so that 40 percent that we found was actually with uh, relatively efficient companies right a friend of mine just took over uh, a job as a VP revenue operations at an existing company, and he looked at uh, their process. It was one of the companies that fortunate to have a lot of inbound, um, so they didn't care much. And when he measured the conversion rate, it was 11%. The process was completely broken. Uh, they were not calling the prospect, and they were converting at 11%. So it's fascinating that uh, you think that two-thirds of companies actually don't call within uh, within uh, the, the 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 time frame that that is uh, the ideal time frame. It that must be a, very frustrating for you to see so many companies failing this way. I'm looking at your website now as we're talking about this, and I love I love the article up there on your blog. Convert leads into meetings. Twenty nine hot techniques, and you've got a great graphic there that really says that calling within five minutes is twenty one times more effective than calling after thirty minutes. It's startling the business that companies are losing. We're going to have to take a quick break here, Nicholas. When we come back, let's keep exploring this and uh, show companies how effective they can be if they wake up and realize that spending of their advertising and their digital dollars are totally wasted if the inside sales function is broken. We'll be right back in right. just a moment. And we're going to take that moment to tell you a little bit more about the topic we're talking about here today. Chili Piper converts more leads into meetings by scheduling appointments when your prospects are most engaged. How? Well, when someone fills out a form on your website, if you use them, it qualifies them in real time and instantly helps book a meeting. So you can start a phone call with them, start a conversation faster, and hopefully convert more leads into more opportunities and more revenue. Starting today, go look them up. Chili Piper, just like it sounds, C-H-I-L-I-P-I-P-E-R, Chili Piper. And a reminder that if you'd like to look into taking this time off, this time down, this isolated period of time to start telling your story to the world, well, we've got an idea. You might think about creating a podcast for your company or your brand. Do you want to establish your thought leadership without writing a book? You want to just meet people you couldn't otherwise meet and start conversations by interviewing them on your show? Well, then you have a personal brand and a personal need for a personal podcast. Funnel Media makes podcasting easy so you can be heard by hundreds or thousands of listeners and you can separate yourself from the crowd. Contact Funnel Media to bring your story to life and bring your story out through the Funnel Radio Network. Just go to podcastsmadeeasy.com. 
Well, we're going to make it easy to continue this conversation today here. I have one quick question, if I might, for your guests as I'm listening to this. I'm fascinated by what you guys are talking about, all the statistics about we put all this effort into getting somebody to call us and nobody calls them back. Or if they do, it's too late. Is the current COVID crisis going to give companies uh, incentive or opportunity to improve their callback time? Or is it going to make it worse because they've let off people and everybody's at home and it's going to take even longer to get a call back? What do you think? In that market, uh, and experiencing first time the, the reaction, um, I think you, you, your guess is correct that companies are now paying more attention. I think it's getting harder. And the last thing you want to do is have a leaky bucket on your inbound uh, funnel. So definitely we achieve a bursting more interest. Opposing... Um, factor is that a lot of companies have uh, frozen their budget. There's definitely intention in fixing the problem. There's some obstacles in fixing it. Obviously, people have to be cautious. So these are two conflicting factors. But overall, there's definitely high interest in making sure that in these difficult times, uh, when you hard earn lead coming to your website, you make sure that you don't um, lose that lead to a poor process. Well, a lot of the companies out there today are changing their phone systems and connecting their salespeople and that are distributed around the country. The inside salespeople are working out of their homes, but they're working hard and they're very often connected to the company and to the phone system. So I imagine it becomes even more important that you're able to provide this service, especially when companies are looking at every single lead coming in. We're talking with Nicholas Vandenberg today, Chief CEO of Chile Piper. And we're talking about the speed to lead, the surprising facts, and how companies are failing. Uh, I'm stealing uh, some of his statistics here, but the majority of companies are failing 60 to 70 percent because they just don't return the calls fast enough. Now, at one time, people thought, well, this is only for consumers. It's uh, if somebody inquires about insurance or inquires about a loan or inquires about buying a car, then those companies would try to get uh, a hold of someone before they got too far away from their computer. But now this has morphed over into B2B. Now, are the majority of your customers B2B, Nicholas? Yes, they are. Yes, absolutely. They are B2B. Uh, we have a few B2C customers. We have uh, some schools that want to book meetings with their uh, prospective students and some other uh, high price B2C companies. But b- very large majority of our customers are B2B companies. And, and you make an excellent point. It used to be more on the B2C side that uh, companies were aware of the importance of speed to lead. On the B2B, it didn't matter as much. And the reason why it didn't matter as much is that uh, decisions were a lot less frequent. I mean, if you think of it as an explosion of, of software solutions right now, in, in, our, spec, in our space uh, sales technology, there used to be about 100 different vendors, and now there's uh, close to 900 vendors. Uh, there are solutions for everything. And... The uh, flip side is that uh, buyers have now the uh, opportunity to switch vendor very easily because of the cloud, right? It used to be that you have to install the software on-premises. And, of course, I'm talking about the software world, but it's very similar to in other vertical. The competition has increased in every vertical. There are more vendors in every vertical. So now, and more decisions and more opportunities. So now, when you're a vendor where maybe before it used to be that you had two main competitors and the buyers was going to think of it over a three-month cycle. Now it's more likely that you have 12 competitors or 20 competitors, and then the buyer decided that this week is the problem of the week, and that's when he or she is going to decide. So that speed to lead, the fact that if you miss that opportunity, you're going to lose the prospect to a competitor. Said differently, B2B is becoming a lot more B2C in many respects, and that includes the importance of speed. So that the first company that came to us, as you would have um, expected, is what I call business to small businesses. And that's because small businesses behave a lot like consumers. So a company, for example, called uh, Five Star, selling to a retail, going to a patient pop, uh, selling to uh, doctor offices, show now, selling to restaurants. Uh, they have a big volume, and they have to make sure that they, they uh, whenever somebody's interested in their service, they, they uh, connect as fast as possible. But now uh, we're getting into larger enterprises, starting to experience the fact that if they don't go uh, 
fast and the speed to lead, they're going to uh, miss out. So um, HP signed up with us recently, HP Enterprise. They, obviously, they're, it's not a high volume, but they want to make sure that if any prospect has an interest, they capture this interest in real time. And um, we have other enterprise companies of the same nature, um, no moving in the same direction. What kinds of other companies are signing up? Are medical devices, are computer systems, uh, services, hardware? Can you give us an idea of the kinds of companies that are moving to this speed to lead attitude? Yeah, so we have a very broad diversity of, uh, of articles we, we cover because fundamentally everybody needs to get engaged with their prospect. Therefore, everybody uh, has a form and everybody needs to act on that form. So the, our solution is completely universal. And in that respect, we, we see a broad distribution. But as often, markets don't behave as a group. There's always the early adopters, and then uh, you know, and then the the main bodies, and then the the laggards, right? There was a, a beautiful book by Jeffrey Moore um, called "Crossing the Chasm," explaining that very very uh, phenomenon of early adopters. So, in general, early adopters tend to be tech companies, and that's because they are. Um, always willing to take risks, looking for uh, new ways to do better. So we do have a lot of, of uh, tech companies in our customer base, a lot of uh, SaaS companies. For SaaS companies, uh, they're trying to get a demo for, with their prospects, and they uh, pay a lot of attention to their conversion rates. So we um, do see a lot of tech and SaaS companies that are customers, but it's, just, it's not a reflection of the market potential. It's just a reflection of who has moved first and who has paid more attention to, to that problem. I can imagine also somebody like HP, the value of the product is so high that this kind of service becomes pocket change for them. It's minor when your product costs thousands and thousands of dollars. You're exactly right. When there's a lot of dollars at stake, uh, that's the thing with our solution is that when you develop a pipeline, uh, it's very easy to justify. Right? It, it looks like, like pocket change. Uh, one of the big social networks, the NDA, um, is using our software to connect with the SMB and they book 30,000 meetings on our platform every seven days, every week, 30,000 meetings. So at the end of the month, they've booked 120,000 meetings through our platform. And these are all business opportunities with an expected value, uh, even small business probably in the, in, the, in the $50 expected value. So that's a million five every seven days flowing through uh, our platform. So the money I think is huge, and, and as you said, uh, the cost of our solution is pocket change. So that, yes. uh, that makes our selling process easier. Well, you've been able to open our eyes today, Nicholas. I, I appreciate it. We're going to have to wind up and get to our next program today. Uh, Nicholas, how can someone reach you? Well, you, you can be um, spelled out our name. It's Chili Piper. So uh, the best way to find out about us is come to our website and experience it. Of course, we use our own tool if you are... Uh, Submit a form on our website to immediately be connected to us. So chilipiper.com, don't hesitate, come and fill that form and, and connect with us. Thank you very much. Nicholas Vandenberg, CEO of Chili Piper. Paul, over to you. You've been listening to another episode of SLMA Radio right here on the Funnel Radio Network. Grant work listeners <laughs> like you. We know you rely on your CRM system.